Hello, my name is Zakia Harris, Hi Shapeshifters. Today we are going to talk about the power of tribe. So my definition of tribe is your circle, it's your community, it's the people in your environment. They make up your professional circles, your creative circles, your friend circles. That's your tribe. They're the people that are surrounding your life. And right now we are living in a time where your tribe is critically important because one thing that this shift has taught us is that we all we got, y'all. Ain't nobody coming to save you. It ain't just about voting. It's not about changing this. It's about coming together with your tribe, with your community, and making shit happen. We are watching our ancestors leave, and the reality is the torch is being passed to you. We are the ones that we've been waiting for, and every single one of us has a bit of the answer. And when we come together, we have the whole answer. So the coming together is a critical part of this shift, and it's a critical part of your life. So this is the perfect opportunity as we are moving towards the winter solstice season, that shift of darkness, to really do some inventory on your tribe and to ask yourself, you know, what role are you playing in your tribe and what role are the people around you playing in your life? So in my book, uh, Shapeshift Your Life, The Creative Entrepreneur's Guide to Self-Love, Self-Mastery, and Fearless Self-Expression, I actually have a chapter on tribe. And I break down tribe into about five archetypes, right? So one archetype is the victim. The victim is that person in the tribe who always has something going wrong. Their relationship's not right. Their work is not right. They ain't got no money. They got drama after drama. You really kind of only hear from them when it's in drama mode. Like you never actually hear from them when something is actually going well because they kind of keep perpetual dramas going on in their life. So ask yourself, are you that person? Do you know someone in your tribe that's that person? The other archetype is the mediator. They're the people who there's like this huge elephant in the room, but the mediator acts like it's not there. They don't really want to see it, whether it's an elephant in their own lives, an elephant in the relationships within the tribe. They're just trying to like, oh, can we all get along, right? The mediator is like saying that, can't we just all get along? It's like, we can get along, but we got to deal with some shit. The mediator is not trying to deal with that, right? The next archetype is the fixer. The fixer is trying to deal with it. The fixer is the person who comes in and is like, oh no, we got to talk about this. I'm helping you with the job. I'm setting up the GoFundMe. I'm going to help you move out. I have some apartments that you maybe can move in. They're actually activating on the ground, getting stuff done, always trying to fix it. More than likely for everybody else, but their own life is probably toe up because they're always spending their energy externally trying to fix things. The next archetype, this is a role that I play often, is the educator. It's the person that's like always got some new game, some new science, a new hustle, a new business idea, a new spiritual practice. And they're like, hey, y'all, do you know about this? Do you know about that? They're always like really immersed in education. You almost kind of roll their eyes when they walk in the room because they're like, oh, God, here she goes with another something, right? Um, they're that person. And then lastly, the ghost. The ghost is very self-explanatory. It's that friend that's like, are they really actually there? Like, you, maybe you have, they're like a ghost. You see them on social media. They might like your things. But when you call them, they're not really ever around. When you need them, they're not really ever around. They just show up and then they disappear. So what I want you to do is I want you to take an inventory of your tribe and I want you to ask yourself, one, what role are you playing in your tribe amongst those five archetypes? And two, what role are other people playing in your life? And ask yourself, is this really bringing joy to my life? Is this really allowing me to be my most authentic self? You know, there's an expression that says you're only as strong as the weakest link. So when you look around your circle of people, your circle of people are actually a reflection of you. So this is not about judging other people. This is not about saying, oh, I don't want you in my tribe anymore because you're a victim. No, this is about you saying, how did I attract this in my life? What are the unhealthy patterns that I'm ready to get rid of in 2017 that allowed me to think this was okay? Is my tribe up-leveling me? Do they challenge me? Do they allow me to be my most authentic self? Am I having to censor who I am amongst my tribe? Do I have to think about what I'm wearing, what I look like, you know, if my job isn't cute, if my relationship isn't 
doesn't fly. If my house isn't set up in a certain way, these people can't be in my tribe. If I don't want to, you know, get hella high, I can't roll with these people because that's all that the relationship is actually built on. This is an opportunity for us to really do some soul searching within because the veil has been lifted, but the veil is not about judging other people. It's about really doing some personal inventory into our personal selves because our tribe, our village is going to be the only thing that gets us through this time where everything is moving and shifting at a time like it has never been in our lifetime. The only thing that we got, y'all, is each other. And so this is a time to get with your tribe. And here's the thing. You don't have to call people up and tell them that you don't want them to be in your tribe anymore. And you don't have to look for other people. When you're raising your vibrational frequency and you're moving in your authentic self, everybody that can't roll with you is just going to fade away. And you're going to start magnetizing new relationships, new opportunities, new people. You're also going to magnetize some tests because sometimes we re-magnetize things that we put, a, we thought we put away just to test us. Are you really ready to move on from this pattern? Are you ready to go there again? So this is a time to be woke. This is a time to take some time to really look within yourself, look within your tribe and choose your tribe wisely. Don't let it choose you. Okay. So. That's today's message. It's all about tribe. If you are in Oakland, California, I would love or the Bay Area, I would love to see you on Sunday, December 4th. We are getting ready for the next Soul Shift workshop. I'm teaming up with a good friend of mine, Miss Nikki Thomas, who is a yogi, and we are going to do a half day of yoga, reflection, activation, my chakra activation, a light lunch, sit in circle with beautiful people, beautiful tribe, and really take some time to do the work that is required for us to shift into our best, our absolute best 2017 and beyond. So if you're in the Bay Area, I'd love to see you this weekend. For all my other shapeshifters out there, I will see you soon. Until then, keep shifting, y'all.